Hello everyone, welcome back to the Grim Dawn walkthrough with your host, Professor Reha. Now, I originally said last episode that I was going to go into the cave and kill the Ghost King dude. However, having double checked my bulwark with another character because I have that stashed. Actually, I checked it earlier today while transferring some stuff out. Um, regardless, I checked the bulwark and it is not specifically for my combination, so we will not, in fact, be going out of our way to kill him. We could for the potential farm, but honestly, at this particular junction... Why is this volume really low? At this particular junction, it's not something we'll need. The fact that he respawns indefinitely, we have ready access to him at any given time, it's just not that important, really. So we'll actually be passing on this particular item, since we don't need the reputation boost from his death. He is undead, therefore he boosts the rover reputation, which we simply do not need. So we are not going to be bothering. Now, we do need to save good old Steven Skinner. Uh, mostly for the Devil's Crossing rep. There we go. Alright. And then we're just gonna cut this way. No apparent totem, which is fine. There we go. And off we go. We'll go ahead and kill these idiots. Just because we can. You can see, though, how little all of these guys matter experience-wise. Oh, man, that's blo it's blocked. Never mind. All right. Didn't even need to go down there. I guess we're going this way, folks. Oh, chill deal. So, ultimately, this isn't going to take that long. This act. It's a very fast act if you're skipping over the stuff. You know, I might go ahead and kill the ghost anyways just for the potential farm experience. Yeah, why not? Get rid of these goops first. Check and see if there is a totem up here. Sometimes there is. I'm betting by the fact that it's not showing up on my minimap that there is not going to be a totem up there. I would have seen it by now. Alright. Hmm. Ah, hello. It's a hero. Excellent. No, you don't. You behave. None of this Aether stuff. There we go. Move slightly so we don't get whacked by Aether damage for no reason. And there we go. You're just dead. There we go. Very clean. Very clean. Not good enough. Alright. So in we go. We'll just kill the ghost really quick and then bail her right out of here. Move my mic so maybe you can hear me a little bit better. I accidentally click on the exit. Good job. We'll just go this way. Okay, good. Excellent. Perfect. Slap. Excellent. Beautiful. And that's all taken care of. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. There we go. And uh, it was just a crossbow. I was hoping it was a mace. The, a level 94 mace could be helpful. Maybe. Bring 
bring it on. Between my hammers and my mirror varioctes, that was not too much of a problem. His health is over 9,000. Actually, it's over 900,000. I mean, he doesn't hit that hard, though. I can absolutely stop all of his damage with a single overguard here. As I finish him off. Man, here's Will is, of course, back up. Hold on a second. I need to rub my eye. Never mind, he just dies. And we got this for some reason. Thanks, guy. And the mythical Doom Solve Gluttony, as you do. So that was fairly profitable in all ways. Where did the recipe go? There it is. Ta-da! Just an absolute delight. It was a good choice to come down here. Whack that guy. We're gonna go back the way we came, though. We don't need to go out the other exit. It actually will slow us down. Alright, I don't need that. Insufficient, insufficient, insufficient. Excellent. And out we go. I don't know why you guys arrived so late to the party, but hello. That's just dandy. Get out of my face. There we go. A rock I hadn't kicked over, and clearly it was absolutely worth that effort. Uh, well, we need the money anyways. Let's be honest here. And hiya. Excellent. Excellent. Now we'll just go on ahead and rescue the merchant guy. Again, just for the experience, that delicious, sweet experience. And we'll just hit this on our way by, because why not? Probably won't give us anything good, but at least we can sell the trash. Yeah. That's about what I expected it to be. I was expecting a little bit more green stuff. Green drops, I suppose I should say. So many people don't mistake me for talking about weed. Clearly there is not a large amount of weed consumption in this game. There we go. And then we just, ah, uh, we might as well take out these dweebs. Perfect. Go ahead and activate this rift. Grab the quests really quick over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is a really quick trip. Observe. All we gotta do is kill these idiots. Killed this running lunatic. I don't know where he came from, but alright. I would have thought the rovers would have killed him. Now, do we have the dynamite already on us? No, we do not. Okay, that's fine. This is a fairly quick fix, since we need to go into the cave to kill the guy anyways for the Devil's Crossing reputation. Always important. Boom. Come on, there you go. Did I hit that guy over there? <laughs> Did he just die from internal trauma? What happened to him? Now, we're, we want to go through this particular entrance of the mine because it is much closer to the guy we're looking to kill, which is this guy right here, who is the guy next to not only the boss that spawns in the area, but also the closest path to the... There's a hero here. The closest path to the dynamite. Uh, man, here's Will. Go ahead and activate that. You're not going to live past it. There we go. Hello. Hoping for royal jellies. Clearly, I'm cursed. We'll go down here and open this chest for the heck of it. Mmm, yes. Excellent. 
absolutely fantastic. I got a royal jelly, which is nice. Now we tango. That was fairly suicidal of him. Healing potion here. Get some blade barrier up for retaliation damage. Or extra retaliation damage, I should say. There we go. Perfect. None of this is even worthwhile, but we get the free dynamite, so that's nice. Hello. Was that a two handed axe? Looked like it. Yeah, it was. Alright. Now we're going to go over here just to see if the hero spawned over here. Sometimes they do. No hero, all right. Worth the check. Grab this chest really quick, and then we're out of here. I uh, we should probably check that scrap just in case there's a... No. I was gonna say, maybe there's dynamite in there. Sometimes dynamite pops out of the scrap there, but no. No such luck here. Oops, I got stuck somehow. I'm not quite sure how I managed this, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up out of here, grab the elder, blow up the thing, have the conversations, get the quests completed, not even an issue. Let's see if there's also a, uh, there is a totem up here, excellent. That's very convenient. We're gonna just go over here and take out this priest first, because he's gonna be a problem if we don't. A lot of these guys will just die to the hammers without any kind of issue. And you just will drop that anyways. There we go. How you knock over a giant ghost crab, I don't know. Yeah, this could be interesting. Well, there goes giant ghost shell boy. There goes you. No, we're going to make this easy. There we go. Just take you out really quick, and there we go. That was less problematic than I was expecting it to be at the outset of that. This is useless. I have a Storm Serpent. This is my second Storm Serpent mask. I would just like to point that out. With the same character, mind you. It's not even necessarily the problem of having the same thing. It's just that I got the same thing with the same character. It's a little ridiculous, but okay, thank you. Those gloves are... no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't need those. Recipes are always appreciated. Here's another one. Absolutely delicious. Wait, those gloves... Ah, I lose the Chaos Resistance, but I keep my Aether Resistance. Alright, if I could just replace that Chaos Resistance, that would be fine. That's two-handed again. That metal almost was good, that amulet, technically. Overguard this ahead of time, otherwise we're gonna have a small problem. I'm not to worry about the priest back there, he only can heal one skeleton at a time. So we can just go over here and just beat him down to death. There we go. Just take care of this moron. Talk to this guy. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and explode the barricade, get our quests collected. Now you may be thinking, why didn't you just, why, why not set a rift up and then go that way? And that's because in all honesty, it's straight up faster to run this 
rather than use the loading go through the loading screen loading screen is actually longer than it takes you to normally run this amount of time and if the loading screen is for some reason faster because of your slow movement speed honestly it's not going to be that much faster maybe a couple of seconds but not really that big of a deal and out we go we'll stop by the hive just to kill the queen in there because frankly I just want to I want to get some free royal jelly so I don't have to rift back to devil's crossing at this junction and also I want to see what drops she emits always a good check Okay, you got uh, Ben here's will immediately. Fair enough. Drop dead. We're gonna go this way. It's because it's a little faster. Oh, a hero. Nice. Overguard this. He's not even gonna do anything significant here, is he? Nah. Royal Jelly dropped. Thank you. A soul flare. Nice. And another royal jelly. Perfect. So we have all the royal jellies we need. I'm still going to go and kill that boss, though, just to see what she drops. Just to see. Now that we're an ultimate, we really want to be going out there and killing as many bosses as possible, as many heroes as we can. That's really what we want to be doing at this point. A couple of stragglers, but for the most part, that was all I really needed to do. I believe this queen is on the right. Oh good, we get the shortcut. Sometimes we don't. Excellent. Hello? Some random hero here. Thank you for the royal jelly again. Fairly useful for crafting, so we do want to be stockpiling this. It's not a bad... Let me rephrase that. It's not a bad thing to stockpile this stuff. And then the queen should be right over here. Yeah, there she is. Just take care of that little issue. Okay, good. I didn't want to hit him with that, but okay. I guess we'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, we win this. She just got Minya's will now. Go ahead and activate Bleed Barrier. Go ahead and activate Mirror of Ariocties for the finishing blow here. Okay, never mind. Overlord to... Overlord. Overguard to finish. There we go. Drops for Monster and Frequent. Was that? There it is. Nice. Excellent. I'm fairly happy about that. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go over here and whack these idiots. Ta-da! Two seconds. We'll kick over this rock because we can. Though who on earth had the time to mark that rock in the middle of a dangerous hive of bees? I don't know. Seems a bit odd to me, but sure. Alright. Just absolutely blast our way through here. Perfect. And just take care of this problem. Excellent. Now we're going to do something a little bit unusual here that you're going to be somewhat surprised by, but we're going to avoid specific bosses here. The arena up in the upper left corner of this area has enemies that drop... things that don't scale with level. 
so we don't need to fight them. They are also an absolutely unholy nightmare, and at this time, since I don't have the level 94 equipment that I need, to attempt to kill them is an exercise in self-destruction. So, we really don't want to be doing that, so we're not going to. We are going to... No, give me that back. We are going to sell the stuff that I don't need, which is pretty much everything we've picked up that's new so far. Not this. And I'm not 100% sure if I have acquired... Oop. No, come on. Just deal with the rest of this stuff. Yeah. And yes, that is fine. All right, good. So we're gonna go kill the troll really quick, which is always an interesting experience. Notice that I also have Overguard on, and he's just he just hits that hard. Alright, we are now going to bail out of here. Because he will one-shot you. There you go. Activate that. Alright. Good. Overguard. And your school is activated. That's fine. We have Overguard still up. There we go. All right. Oh, the spell scorched flaming. Hello. Excellent. Is that worth keeping? Uh, it's pretty sweet. We'll probably keep that for the time being. All right, so our next move is actually to go into this mine. We're going to go through the mine instead of going around even past the arena. We do not want to engage those people in the upper left corner at this point in time. If you really want to, do it when your equipment is prepared. We're going to go over here. We're going to take a, basically a shortcut here. Now, yes, there is the hole in the ceiling that we could have used to get in here, but frankly, that requires dynamite, and I don't particularly feel like using dynamite right then and there because those enemies, again are undead, so they benefit the rover. Okay, they're here, so that was a little bit... There's more enemies here than I was really anticipating, to be honest. Okay, this is a problem. There were more enemies hanging around than I was expecting there to be. We're gonna get rid of you by yourself really quick first. Well, mostly by yourself. There are... There we go. There we go, this should work. And I think I've got this in the bag. Yeah, I definitely do. Perfect. Go ahead and use the health potion there, just why not? And you're gone. He dropped his crest, good. And these, which is really nice. Excellent. Okay, so that was the main thing we wanted here, was his crest there. So we got that, that's really nice. He dropped some other additional legendary things. We're just gonna go through here. We're gonna ignore those idiots, we don't care. We're gonna go this way specifically because free dynamite drops over here as well. So to not go this way is wasting an opportunity for absolutely free dynamite, which Everyone loves tree dynamite, let's be honest. There we go. Actually, we can just do that, that's way better. Perfect, we're gonna go ahead and quickly visit a secret as well. In the hopes, in the mostly vain hope that it's gonna have something cool in it. Every once in a while they will, but it's just not very common. Yeah. 
Yep. I will. With the check. That belt, though. No. Pants, maybe? The pants are, nah, inferior. Never mind. Trash pants. And out we go. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of these guys. Perfect. Alright, now we just gotta take out the forges, which isn't exactly a strain. There we go. More dynamite up here as well, so we love to see that. A hero! Excellent. Come here. Huh. Go ahead, activate menus, we'll see if I care. Come on. You gonna get it or not? I don't think they are. Oh, there they go. So impressed. Come on, hit me. There you go. Perfect. Did I pick up a legendary? I did not. Get out of here. Kick this over just for the fun of it. Okay, great. Thanks. So much. Eh, go ahead and try and make me freeze, fool. See what happens to you. That's what I thought. And another hero for me to absolutely decimate. <laughs> you can see the challenge. There we go. Huh. Oh, wait, there's a whole bunch of people coming in over here. There we go. Problem solved. Excellent. Good. Go ahead, activate menu as well. I don't care. There you go. Proud of you again. Fantastic. Now we just gotta eliminate the last couple of forges, which should have somewhere along the way incorporate a hero or two. Oh wow, okay. I'll admit, that surprised me. I wasn't big enough to finish my health. I thought Menhir's will was gonna come back in time, but not. You can see where it was very close. Very close to returning in time. I just misplanted. it. Go ahead and report the uh, forges while we're here. Why not? There we go. This is definitely a mild setback. It's going to take some a decent amount of experience away too, which is unfortunate. But it's not that big of a deal. We can overcome this. still up there. <laughs> You're not going to get me from up there, boys. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought I kicked this body over. Assuming it was a kickable body in the first place. Alright. So I miscalculated, That's definitely. Alright, nice complete whiff. Good. I can't even reach them. They're not worth the time, really. I just served my shield block. <laughs> Oop, don't get stuck. There you go. Come on, there you go. Looks like you made it. I can't sink. Let's remember. No singing allowed on anything. Just gonna take 
take care of you. Probably there's a hero nearby. Knew it. This is fine. We got this under control. We're gonna make this easy. Perfect. Well, there's a whole mob over here, huh? Not for long. Get out of here. Perfect. And into Cronley's hideout we go. Just take care of this really quick. Moneybags Martin's going to be probably a small problem, but we'll deal with him whenever he shows up. Perfect. Alright. We'll probably go down and grab the... Yeah, alright. Okay, fair enough. Already got the his will, huh? Whoop, all right. That was much more damage than I was expecting. What happened? If I had to take a guess, probably my fire resistance was dropped below where I would need it to. No, it's plus 93% over maximum piercing. It was my piercing resistance, they dropped. All right, that's what happened there. At the very least, we have the uh, rift right here. Ah, that's annoying though. That is very problematic. There we go. Now the problem is solved. My goodness. I do not need to be dying this much at this point. There's money bags, Martin. Okay, good. A lot of them are just coming in for the... So I don't even know what reason. Activated health potion here. Use mirror varioctes. Buy some more time. Here comes Men Here's Will. There it is. Overguard will be showing up by the time that's done. I think there it is. There we go. And all right. Just pop down here really quick. Deal with these idiots. Because I want that book. Again, if you have the experience you need, you don't need to bother. Whether or not you have the experience you need depends on how heavily you over farm. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure you were going to spawn, but here you are. Fortunately, you all cluster up quite nicely, and my hammers were already out, so that was fairly quick. Yeah, I'll get rid of them on my way back up. Just a quick slap fest over here. Boom. Ta da. Nice. Alright. Very satisfying. Oop, alright. The game decided it wasn't going to use that properly, but sure. Oh, hello. This is a freebie. Oh, I'm. My hands are in the wrong place. There we go. Retaliation is sometimes very lovely. Also, dots are fantastic. I just picked up something I didn't even get to see. What did I pick up? Pants? These pants? What did I pick up? I think it was the pants. Ah, I'm not 100% sure. I was trying to pick up the murderer's cowl, but apparently that wasn't going to happen. Alright, so this is a fairly quick jaunt. We just come over here, remove the problem children. Just 
like that. Terribly easy. Free dynamite. Excellent. Well, I shouldn't say free dynamite. Bonus dynamite would be the more appropriate term here. There's a chest down here I want to grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick blast there, and we're taking care of all that problem. Okay, fantastic. We deal with these guys in the same way. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell it to someone who cares. My goodness. The ease with which we can blow through large groups of enemies. We'll kill the Rennie just because, again, we do have Devil's Crossing rep riding on this. He's not that difficult to deal with overall. Go ahead and hit me. Thanks so much. Overguard this, why not? Go ahead and use Blade Barrier 2. Killer Roy's Tempest to get rid of all of his support. Will you even men here's will? Yeah, you will. Alright, there it goes. Ta da! Dropped absolute trash, but okay. And at this particular junction, I'm anticipating a totem being on the bottom left. Hello. Where's the hero? There he is. And you're just gonna be already dead pretty much. There we go. The Seal of Shadows. This is, by the way... Technically that's Nightblade as well. I personally see that as a bit more tending towards the... Um... Hold on. Tending a bit more towards Occultist, personally, but Occultists don't really do piercing damage, so I can definitely see the argument that it's just another Nightblade seal. Oh, all kinds of heroes today. I'm very happy. Can't get enough heroes. Not an ultimate. There it is. Another legendary. Oh, another hero, too. Good. Alright, good. Okay, so we have this. Yep. The rest of this is going to be fairly unfortunate. Give me that. And we have this, which we don't need, but that's fine. We're gonna go up here and deal with the bees really quick because, hey, look, heroes. Overguard this, actually. We're actually gonna use Mirror of Ariactes. They're doing more damage than I can handle, even with Overguard. There we go. That should take care of the issue. And here's what is up next, but I don't think, yeah, I used a health potion so I could keep that ready for the. Totem, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm looking for the word totem. I'm gonna move this back a little bit so that way it's there we go. I keep kind of having it around the area of my chest for some reason. It just keeps I just keep leaning forward and it's going towards where my chest is, so we'll we'll do this. This is probably a better solution. Well, that was a disappointing secret. But oh well. Tonic mending is why not? Don't need the vital essences, though. At least not at this time. Alright. We'll take care of this now. Overguard so I can get some early Torgo's hammers. There we go, good. Go ahead and activate Mirror of Ariakis. We're definitely having a problem and I need the retaliation damage. Use the health potion. Good. Blade barrier for extra retail. Good. All these mine rangers that literally spawn on top of me is not a good move for them. There's men here's will, but that's fine because we're about to kill a bunch of the heroes. There we go. 
Overguard is ready, so we will use that immediately. Just to clinch the deal here, there we go. Where was the Seal of Blades? Where did that recipe go? Where did the recipe go? Excuse me? Hold up. Where, where did my recipe go? Did I not pick it up? No, I definitely picked it up. Where? There it is. This is, um, yes. Wait, those shoes. Ah, okay. We could theoretically use this. I don't do vitality damage, so the actual answer is no. Ideally, this is another one of those pieces of equipment I actually want to take a brief moment to talk about. Where, despite the absolutely massive amounts of uh, skills it enhances from various dis different classes, it is very obvious that this is designed for a necromancer, pretty much any of the other three combination. You could make an equally effective argument that the specific combination of Occultist Arcanist can also use this at its maximum potential, but the Soldier must be with the Necromancer for this to really work, so we will not be equipping this because, simply speaking, we do not do the famous Vitality Damage. A lot of this stuff is going to be very... That's gloves. I don't get the chaos, so we're gonna leave those. Is that a good eye? Is this good? Yeah, I guess. The armor is a little less intense. That's good enough, I guess. Some of these would be really good if I was going with a very specific build. I was hoping, but. That's interesting. That potentially could be, like I said, this would be great if only it had the resistances I needed. Resistances are absolutely everything in Ultimate. Like, they've been fairly important up until now, but it is in Ultimate that they become live or die type uh, subjects. You live and die by your resistances. We're gonna go ahead and activate that early. We're gonna put this out here too, just in case. There we go. Not quite how I wanted that conversation to go, but oh well. Move for guard. Also, these guys get wiped out. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and use Mirror Variactes here. Okay, good. Use the healing potion. Forestall the use of Enhir's will. Enhir's will activates, so that's fine. We're gonna let that run as long as possible. Overguard a little early because he does have the ability to uh, temporarily nullify our abilities, so we don't wanna take that risk. Will spec. There it goes. Overguard up, use it. We should be able to finish him in the time it'll take him to get through Overguard. Yep. Alright. Did he drop his anything? Yeah, these boots. Probably not worth it. Yes. Very nice. All right, good. No, 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 there we go. Perfect. Hello. Huh, I remember those. That's fun. Really? All right, well, we need the money, so we're gonna go ahead and go back. We're gonna report everything in anyways. Uh, so we're gonna pop back to Devil's Crossing, get those reports in, sell first. Always sell before reporting anything. Let me see. I guess that's worthwhile. This. Sure. 
Uh, we need that. A lot of this stuff is stuff I want to keep. That's fine. That's also fine, I guess, for now. Yeah, I guess. A lot of this I'll probably eventually wind up selling anyways. So, we're not going to really worry too much about that. Mostly, when you look at Monster and Frequent, oops, you're looking at potentially a lot of damage conversion. Uh, for example, we're talking about, say, the Mystic Incendiary Shoulder Plates. The, the, of protection is just nice. But really, you're talking about the conversion of Chaos Damage to Fire Damage, which is a boost for a specifically fire build, with the famous combination of Demolitionist and Arcanist, obviously. And the reason why that's fairly important is if you don't want to use Shattered Reality to boost the Chaos Damage that the Demolitionist, the small amounts of Chaos Damage that the Demolitionist can deal, and you are using Fire Strike and Blackwater Cocktail, which of course this enhances Blackwater Cocktail, then you can convert that into even more fire damage, and the reason why that's important for that combination is we already know Reckless Power increases fire damage. You also have Flame Touch from the Demolitionist increasing fire damage further. Chaos damage obviously does not benefit from this, so if you're going for the fire aether damage output, then this would be something really nice to equip. That's really what this kind of thing is about. It's the similar kind of circumstance with the Mystic Marauders, Epaulets of attack, if you're playing something that does uh, vitality damage, uh, the actual phantasmal blades can do vitality damage uh, for reference. You can alter that into pierce damage if you have the equipment that boosts that. So really, at the, that particular point, you're just really paying very close attention to the monster and frequency you have access to, and what you want to do there. See, it's not so important with the Mutant Bludgeon, although this is a really nice Mutant Bludgeon for, obviously, specifically the combination of Soldier and Oath Keepers, so that is really cool for that reason. And this is really what you want to see on certain Monster and Frequents. For the Mutant Bludgeon, by default, it boosts Force Wave and Rending Force. Pure Soldier, not a problem. It increases internal trauma damage and physical damage every time as well. So you ideally want it re really be combining with a class that does internal trauma damage as well. Uh, in this case, we have Oathkeeper, which is really great. It increases an Oathkeeper's skill. It increases judgment. What skill it increases usually doesn't matter. I'll usually accept most any skill being boosted. Judgment's a nice one. Pretty much anything out of the Oathkeeper, I enjoy an example of a mutant bludgeon that would increase a skill for a class that you would normally want but the skill that it increases is not what you would what you would actually want as an example would be the shaman now when you're talking about internal trauma and physical damage with the shaman you're usually looking at a lightning focused build or at least doing the lightning damage the the vitality bleeding portion of the shaman's skill set usually is not tied to internal trauma, usually, barring certain items that converts uh, similar to this, well, this doesn't convert anything, but barring certain items that convert damage types around, that's a totally different conversation, but say that you got a mutant bludgeon that increased savagery, great, you want that, that's fantastic. If you got a mutant bludgeon that increased instead, say, Wendigo Totem? Eh, no, you really don't want that, because the soldier can't do vitality damage, and to splash in some vitality damage when doing a lightning slash physical damage build would be far more effective in almost every scenario. Again, this does not necessarily include anything that could theoretically convert when Digo Totem's damage type out of vitality into physical. It I don't know every item in the game, maybe something that exists, I don't think it does, not according to my memory it doesn't, but then, like I said, I do not have 100% encyclopedic knowledge of every item in this game. So, maybe it exists, maybe it doesn't, but that is an example of a skill you 
wouldn't want increased, even though the class itself can benefit from this weapon. So this is a really nice mutant bludgeon. Judgment is fantastic, that's just fine. This mutant bludgeon, fairly standard form, doesn't do anything particularly special, unlike this one, which does the cold. Now, will I necessarily want this? Uh, well, that depends. I actually would be a little more comfortable, in all honesty, going with this one, because at least we have a much more concentrated focus on physical. Unlike this one, yes, the cold could be nice, but do we need it? And that, ultimately, no. If this was elemental damage, I would say possibly, but either then, even, that's probably not going to happen. This does have the mild problem of being level 90, so we will actually be discarding that one. This is level 92, so we'll keep it just because it is for that specific combination, but if we could find something a little better, that'd be great. This is an amulet that we just don't need, although the chaos resistance is nice. We already have chaos resistance, so it's not that important, so we're going to get rid of that. This doesn't do anything particularly special or unspecial, but it is a monster infrequent that is decent enough, so we'll go ahead and keep that. But yeah, that's basically how I look at Monster and Frequence and how I encourage other people to look at them. It it can make a difference. That is this? That's right. Alright, so yes, we have cleared out some of these. Now, I didn't sell them, I didn't discard them, I didn't get rid of them. I did not. What I did was I transferred them to a character with the spare storage space oops, to be able to hold them with absolutely no problems. So I still have all of that equipment from before, it's just in somebody else's inventory. Do not be concerned. I have not gotten rid of any of that stuff that I had. It's just been moved. Oop, give me that. I don't think I need necessarily this many epaulets, to be honest. Uh, this is the 94 one, so we're actually going to just keep this one. And, yep, we're going to keep that for now, temporarily. Actually, this should go over here. This, no, that doesn't matter. These should, just so I can sell them more conveniently. Uh, come on, work with me. You hate me. All right. I guess we'll wander away, but that's okay. Well, no, we still have to store the components. Hold on. And the various crafting materials. That's it. Alright. Oh, no, the scrap. There we go. I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. Alright, so we're going to report this in. And... Barnabas is going to tell us absolutely diddly squat. We already know this. Which, yeah, we already knew all that. And we need to talk to Stephen Skinner, actually, which will push us over to 93, which was the whole point of doing all these quests in the first place, so that's fairly fantastic. Ta-da! This, of course, is... As far as the rings go, fairly unimportant, unless you really need those resistances. I don't know, you might. I'm gonna sell it though. I don't. Uh, probably when I died. Is when I lost my dinosaur. Now, we are very nearly there, which is really nice. Now, likely we'll go ahead and get the rest of that when I finish Homestead, because there's that whole quest there that's like, oh yeah, you know, you, uh, you've done us a lot of favors, we'll trade with Devil's Crossing, boom, okay. Alternatively, actually, wait a minute, I can finish it up right now. Hold up. Hold on one second. I think I need three dynamite here. This sh He should be ready to provide me with this quest, but I think I can get the last of the reputation, unless he's going to be stingy with his rep rewards. He is stingy with his rep rewards. All right. All right. Fine. Oh, wait. The... I... Well, we'll keep the dynamite on me anyways, but what we're going to go do is the 
Um, the well, the lab quest there, which should push us to the revered portion of the deal, theoretically. I believe that one actually provides rep rewards. Kill these zombies just for the kicks. Now, because I'm not going to have to explore the whole area, this is just going to be a really quick run through the dungeon. It's a very short dungeon if you're not fully exploring it. And besides the fact there's a boss in there, of course, and this is the only way you can get in there is by doing this quest, so frequently you will want to be doing this quest. Clear out everyone here. This will be the last thing I'll do this episode is this quest here. Just so I can get that reputation boost where I need it to be. As you can tell, it's not really going to be a huge struggle here. I mean, at this point, m most, if not all of you, should have your setups in such a way that even if it's not perfect, it's good enough to clear a lot of the common enemies, and you're only really going to have a problem against very specific scenarios, either because your resistance in one area is too low, or possibly you just are taking more damage than you were expecting, or there's all kinds of reasons why you would have a problem with a specific scenario, but... For the most part, at this point, you will be all set in pretty much all, almost every situation that you could come up against. So you really should be, if you're thinking to yourself, oh wow, he seems really strong, and you haven't ever reached this difficulty level, you're very likely going to be this strong as well by this point. If you've been following roughly what I've been doing, even if you haven't been using necessarily the same combination, the same setup the same classes, what have you, you should have found at least a rough approximation of the levels of items and the quality of items. How many times you will have died will probably be a little higher because, again, this is an abnormally safe combination to play. It's why I wanted to start this series off with this, although the future characters won't be covering absolutely every minute aspect. So, I, I also got a really bad um, setup with the map here. So that's a little unfortunate, but... We'll, we'll take care of the problem. Hero here, so we're going to want to take care of this little problem right away. will that the poison is killing me because my poison resistance isn't high enough. Alright. Ah, hello, chaos resistance. 13% over, so we lose a decent amount, but we really need that chaos resistance. Oh, hello. I was standing in the poison water, that's why. I just wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that, that's acceptable. What about these pants? Mm. Gas resistance, elemental resistance, bleeding resistance. I need that bleed resistance. Here we go. Yeah, alright. Blast you. Get rid of you. There we go. Many years will activate, so we're fine. Problem solved. Hey, totem. Nice. Probably should have waited a little bit on doing this, but, I mean, there's a lot of slits running around right here. But, also a lot of dead bugs lying around over here, which is really not what you want to see. Many 
something useful it's about to activate. We're going to want to move around, try to avoid the poison. Good. So far that's working out. Except somebody's still poisoning me. Alright. We haven't activated Menhir's Will yet, so we've got some hope here. Okay, Menhir's Will is going to activate soon. Uh, it'll just have to sustain me until um, Overguard is back up. Come on. There it goes. Alright. Very nice. Overguard. We're going to have to. There's too much poison lying around right now on the ground. Alright. That was rather intense, but we made it through. We made it through. <sighs> going to have to take a closer look at these uh, mantles. Uh, slicers, excuse me. A lot of this stuff we just don't need. Which is unfortunate, but that's fine. It happens. That's nice. Still need that poison ass resistance, though. <laughs> ah, that was, that was actually a really nice battle. Took a good amount of concentration. Love to see it. go ahead and overguard this. There's a lot of poison coming at me. There we go. Hold on. Reinforcements have arrived, eh? Get rid of you. And here's will activate it, so we pretty much have free rain in here. There we go. Go ahead and crack this open. While we're here... Some more selling stuff. Alright, and then we're just gonna pop down to the next floor. Probably have to kill some more dudes in the meantime. Oh yeah. Overguard this because I get poison. Hello? This is gonna be fairly interesting. Considering I'm probably in poison. No, I'm not. Alright. In that case, it's going to be weak sauce. There we go. Hold on. I'm going to look at what I just picked up here. That's not it. What did I just pick up? I mean, yeah, there's that. That's fine. I picked up something, but I'm not 100% sure what I picked up. Oh, that's what I picked up. Okay. It's an offhand, so we don't care, but... Go ahead and activate that health potion really quick. Yeah, there's, uh... Then here's Will, unfortunately. That's... Hold on. You can relax for a second. There we go. So many slits coming out of the woodworks. Actually, we can just go this way. Boom. Health potion. I'm gonna use Mirror Ariakis just to give me some time here. Then here's will activate it. There's too much going on here. We need to get out. There we go. Health potion activated. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. It's been too long standing in poison water. Did not put down a rift. I should have, but that's a failing on my part. At least we've cleared out all the enemies on that floor. We've cleared out all the enemies on the way there. So it's a minor setback. Mostly the experience is going to be a problem again. I really need to boost my poison acid resistance. It's too low. 57% is not high enough. 
I could throw anti-venom solves on, but at some point in the, well, I'm level 93 right now, so I'm going to be pretty close to getting the, getting to the point where I will be changing up my equipment anyways. So, at that particular point, I'll probably slap on some anti-venom solves unless I happen to get the poison acid resistance I need from that, but only time will tell on that front. Is there a random spoder down there? What is that? And he's... Okay, sure. But a lot... And then you guys are going to show up really late to the party. What is this? Really? My goodness. That makes no sense. And here you... Okay. <laughs> Just this single random bug. Alright. Sure. Another one. Oh, nope, two. There we go. Oh, wait, there's a whole slew of you idiots over here for some reason. Not sure why, but okay. Let me activate men here as well again, you blasted swine. Alright, this should just be a quick pickup of the grave because I already killed everyone over here. That's fine. Not good enough. There we go. Pop down here. Okay. Oh. There's some random straggler there. Back there. Overguard right away. Health potion right away. I don't know what I'm standing on. It might be poison water. I don't know. The last thing I need, though, is being blasted by large quantities of poison acid damage. Yes, 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 that's fine. Come on, there you go. Alright, good. Break the bones on the way through, nice and convenient. Excellent. Activate everything because I'm standing in poison water. I'm already gonna have a problem with the poison and acid damage coming at me from the water that they're throwing. And that takes care of that little problem. Alright, good. Come over here and whack these so we can crack these open. The vain hope that we actually would get something, but it didn't happen. Excellent. Fantastic shield, thank you. Yeah, sure, we'll take you guys out. Why not? I want this chest. It's glorious and totally worth the effort. Boom. No, 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 no. We're not gonna have you guys flinging all kinds of things. Okay. Mount his will up again, that's fine. Just don't stand in it on any of the vents, we're gonna be fine. Do I have a yeah. There we go. Go ahead and activate your very octis here. Could have been better timed. That was useless. Now nah, I got this in the bag. Go ahead and overguard just in case. Your toast. Hey, hey, I got this. This 
is interestingly useful. Now, all right. What's happened here is that this has miraculously worked out well for me because this increases field command. Now I'm not currently using it, but it is fairly interesting. That's got some potential, oddly. It's not normally something I would even want to consider keeping around specifically because it is ideally intended for Nightblade's Arcanists, but it is fairly interesting and could be fun to play with. I don't think it's going to be permanent a permanent addition because, it, again, it's not really specifically intended for this, you know, it's not originally intended for Soldier Arcanist, but good enough, I suppose. It's level 94, too, which is fairly interesting. So that's oddly pretty nice. I'm fairly excited to try that, and I should not be this excited about this. Internal trauma damage increase, too. I could go with a very odd physical cold damage build. That'd be fascinating. And I keep getting all these things that would be really good for that. Seal of Ancestry. Don't remember that, but then I don't think I've ever built it either. It's just not that great of an attachment for my personal tastes. Alright, now we're just going to rip back. No point running back, that's kind of silly. Do you have something for me? Uh, give the formula, yeah. And that should have brought me... Diddly squat, alright. Yeah, we'll have to uh, pick up the last of the reputation we need from good old homestead which we'll probably get to next episode i don't see why i wouldn't make it all the way there next episode because frankly i don't know why i didn't store that i just must have forgot oh wait we need to actually consider these slices really quick hold on let me look at this well let me sell the rest of this junk first all right. Uh, Conjure Primal Spirit. Bonus to pets. Because you really want to see pets with night blades. You know what? I'll keep it. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Uh. Yeah, this is all very interesting. Both of these have some potential, in all honesty. So we'll keep both of those for now. But yes, would I really... Uh, pretty soon I'll definitely be having to make a decision. Can I make any of the... Is there anything that I can equip armor or weapon-wise that I just haven't noticed that I can, excuse me, that I can create? Not really. That require an offhand, but I don't want to use that. That's two-handed, so no, because I want to use shields. No. 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 Heck no. Alright. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that I could theoretically craft that would be worth really anything to my combination, my class combination. Yeah, it's really not looking like it. 
couple of almosts, but no. Overall, no. So, alright. I didn't think so, but it was worth a check really quick. I, I need to drop that off, too. I didn't do that, and I really need to. Alright, so we can slap you in here. Uh, yep, that's fine. And that takes care of that. More dynamite than you can shake a stick at. Alright, we're gonna keep the dynamite in the inventory, obviously. We're gonna put this in here, put this in here. Alright. Yeah, 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 that's just the quest for the, um, Mogdragon's Shrine, which we will be doing, by the way. More, you should be doing the Mogdragon's Shrine quest, regardless of whether or not you need the experience or the reputation, because you do want to have access to the Mogdragon's avatar as a bonus boss fight. See if you can kill him. these in for the I don't actually need that I meant to say this all right I believe I have all the recipes I need from you yes I do that's fine I need to go check the conclave of the three as well now that we have some cash kicking around make sure we've purchased all those recipes get that out of the way so I don't have to worry about it when it comes time to hold on you're not actually revered with me are you no, I can't do that then. Never mind. So, I'll just go back here and talk about the plans for next episode. So next episode, we'll go through the Arcovian Undercity, which will take a decent amount of the time. I want to kill the boss in the... Uh, the... Arcovian Coliseum as well. You know, we're bo mostly going to be killing a lot of bosses, because once we're past the Arcovian Undercity, we blast through Broken Hills really quick, because we're not going to go into the Steps of Torment yet. And then we go through Dead Man's Gulch. That's just a matter of finding Delia. And, well, we don't even need to really do that. But we might for the experience. So yeah, we'll probably do that. Just find her, go through all the way to Homestead. And next episode, we'll just stop at Homestead. Um, but that's the plan there. By the time I get to Homestead, I will definitely be 94, possibly 95, although I'm doubting it. I don't think I'll have the experience gains for that. Uh, maybe. I should be level... It really depends on how much experience I get for killing the enemies and how many times I die, actually. If I don't die at all, I sh should hit 95, potentially. Then at that point, what we're going to do is, the episode after that, take care of the rotting croplands, the conflagration, probably the quests down in the Pine Barrens area as well. Really quick, just to get that... Wait, do I actually need... Mostly to get the experience, I think, but I don't actually believe I need the reputation bonus with the Black Legion. I don't. Okay. Yeah. So I don't need the Black Legion rep, so depending on what my level is at that point, I probably won't be level 100 still at that point, so we'll probably go ahead and do those anyways, unless I decide to just pass right over them. Um, that really depends on what my reputation is with Homestead as well, because if my reputation with Homestead is just barely shy of getting to Revered, then going down to the Shaded Basin and killing the Cronley's gang guys south of Tyrant's Hold might push me to that revered level, but that really depends. So whether or not we do that, I'm not sure. Whether we go down there, Blood Grove, just whack through that, of course. Uh, maybe skip the Sorrow's Bastion quests if I happen to be level 100. Again, it depends. I probably won't be, but we'll have to see. Now, I also said that I was going to take, I was going to talk a little bit about the, um, I actually didn't do this, talk a little bit about the secret quests and the, we're not going to worry about uh, this one here, but the secret quest for the main campaign starts in Astrakarn Road about this point, I believe. So, at that point, an item will drop and then we'll start really rolling with that. So that's it's a whole different conversation there. We'll be getting to that in two or three episodes, but that's really where you can expect to see that quest start, and then it's kind of a chain reaction of excitement from there. That will also be the point at which we will be potentially killing our first bonus boss, Rashulka the Mad Queen. It depends on what my equipment looks like at that point. I would like to be level 94 before getting out of the 
Rokovian Undercity because then I could start equipping some of the stuff that I've got in my inventory and making some final decisions on, well, how do I want to approach this? I have a lot of stuff that can work with either, and that's the dangerous thing, is I could make quite a few different possibilities work. Ultimately, I may just temporarily put on the Mythical Crown of Infernal Gems. I already have Calderos Tempest. Slap on the Mage Lord Ban. Well, no, I wouldn't slap this on because I still have the Royal Exuberance set that I would still want. But if I could find the other Mage Lord, that I could, if I could find the Mage Lord Signet, that would be very nice. Uh, I might possibly pull Scandrous Elemental Exchange out and put it into Cadence here, all the way up the Deadly Momentum. Maybe. And then slap in the Superior Mutant Bludgeon, drop Mind Warp, although that wouldn't really make sense at this point. We'll have to see, but that's kind of where I'm leaning at this moment. We could throw on the, this shield, get to Menhir's Bulwark, drop good old um, Reckless Power, go for Menhir's Bulwark, get super tanky, drop our damage output, admittedly, by a decent amount. That's that's quite a nifty boost there, but maybe, maybe, we'll have to see how that goes, but this is all hypothetical at this particular junction, but that would be the smoothest transition, because then I would only have to pull out these points, I could pull out all these points back here, pull out all this, go into this, and go into this, possibly go into some of these as well. Decorated Soldier would be really nice. Veteran C, I don't usually get because I don't usually care about it. It's just not that strong to me. Scars of Battle, maybe? But we could we could possibly do that. But we have almost a million iron bits, so by the time we do get there, I should have the cash for that. So that, that might turn out well. So that's really what I'm talking about there. That being said, thank you all very much for joining me. Uh, if you like this, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, what have you, please leave them down in the comments down below. I do read them. And as always, thank you for joining me, and have a great 24 hours.